Kirsten Jensen has a botfly larva living under her skin, just by her bikini line. Kirsten is unwilling to wait for the creature to crawl out on its own. So Dr. Sheldon Glazer suggests another way to extract the maggot. We covered the wound with petroleum jelly, then put an airtight dressing on top of the petroleum jelly and taped that down. I had no idea what to expect, but almost immediately, the breathing tube was moving around like crazy, and it was spitting out little bits of stuff. Kirsten endures an agonizing 24 hours as she waits for the parasite to die. Then, Dr. Glazer removes the dressing. And there was a little bit of a tubular bit of maggot that was protruding from the top of this lump. We grasped this little bit of tubular maggot end and pulled on it. All of a sudden, this pain. Ah! And I go, oh, ow, what, what, what did you just do? It was very sharp, it was very sudden. It required a little bit of force because the, the maggot's diameter is a little bit larger than that little hole at the top of the wound. But it came out of the wound. I was shocked that something that large came out of that small of a hole. There's a part of me that was absolutely repulsed by the fact that I had anything inside me, but I was also fascinating that evolution allowed us to have something that lived inside a human with spikes. What makes the botfly so amazing is its unusual reproductive strategy. The botfly hijacks a mosquito in mid-flight and lays its eggs on the mosquito's body using a special glue. When the mosquitoes bite a mammalian host, the heat from the mammal's body causes the glue to melt, and the eggs fall onto the host's skin, where they hatch into larvae. Then, the larvae enter the host's body through a hair follicle or the mosquito bite. Between five and 12 weeks later, they crawl out and transform into adult flies. Human botflies are native to Mexico and Central and South America. 